in the zone or out of the zone pretty much at will. You're talking about a guy more so that will have his hands full, but he's up to the challenge time with LSU. They've lost 13 of the last 15 series. And we've got our first strikeout victim as Gregory, not just in the league, but nationally. First pitch oh, swing and cut off by Zach. Do it. Good throw, and he got him. And a great stretch by the first baseman, Trey Morgan, to get Matt Goodhart for out number two. Really closed on this ball nicely. And it looked like this was going to be a clean single. Catches and gets rid of it after the full extension. And watch the star freshman Morgan. Look at the toe on the inside. 2-2 Two -two to the rookie. Wallace struck him out. What an inning for LSU feeding off of this crowd. Reached in 18 straight. Mm. Puts a charge into this one. Charging the right fielder. Oh. Diving is Caden Wallace. And he makes a great catch. This kid's going to be something. We got some freshmen in this one, folks. And Caden Wallace off the bat of Trey Morgan. How about kind of a top spinning liner? Bob Moore's out there playing in shallow right field. The one two to the right fielder chased it up. And that's the first strikeout for Patrick Wicklander. Ball was going to be, honestly, even a couple weeks into the season. He gets a ground ball here, charging battles. And Jalen Battles throws out DeGoss. 47 runs batted in. Checked his swing on the one two. He went around. And that is the third strikeout already. There. Struck him out on three pitches. He's going to give this a ride to center to stay in the ballpark. <laughs> We're going to be done in 45 <laughs> minutes. We're going to set a world record here tonight. The one, two, struck him out. Five strikeouts in seven batters faced. With some thump. Down the line again, knocked down by Doty, recovers and throws it away. Morgan will have to chase it close to the bullpen. Battles easily gets to second. And we've got our first base runner of the ball game. And 3-1 pitch should end the inning the pitcher covering as Marcel gets production from second base and he strikes out looking after getting ahead 3-0 Wicklander comes back and buries a strikeout looking a tournament that they have won six times under Paul Monero swing and a miss and Marceau has his sixth strikeout in three and a third these big games at LSU who show you so much polish. Wow. He's got seven K's and a shutout through four. Awaits the 2-2. Fastball right at the belt, and it froze Morgan. Ground ball. Could end the inning. Cullen Smith, low throw, and it's a little wide. Interesting. Each team has had a base runner in this game. Out of the equation, though, it's an error to me. Popped up. And Wallace is going to end that big threat. Five-plus decades. 2-2, two -two, chop back over the middle. Thompson. And it's another 1-2-3 inning. 2-2 to DiGiacomo, and he got him. Strikeout number four for Wicklander. For Ole Miss, Ryan Ritter, a first-year player playing shortstop for Kentucky. A lot of newcomers playing shortstop this year in the league. Opens oh is terrific at this. Behind the plate, makes a great catch to get the third out. Against Landon Marceau, who gets another ground ball. Knocked down by Doty. I don't know that he's going to have a play. He will not. I mean, Doty's been busy at third base. Smith doesn't go, and that's strike three. One down. The 1 0 pitch. There he Swing goes. and a miss. Runner goes, and the throw right on the money from Alex Malazzo. Back up the middle. Again, knocked down by Marceau. What a night for Landon Marceau. He is clean through six. 
strike on the outside corner mm -hmm. and Dross goes down looking another K for Wicklander. Did I convince you? Hey, you had me at the breakfast table this morning when we talked about it. <laughs> uh, you know, when you were going to talk about that graphic. Guys can go deep. And this is raked toward the gap, and there is the first hit of the night against Landon Marceau from the Arkansas Razorbacks. The leadoff man, Matt Goodhart, is on to start the seven. 3 1 pitch down the middle, back up the middle base hit. Not slowing wow. down, heading to third. Goodhart, here comes the throw, it's up the line. And into second base is Slavens. Line drive, base hit. Two runs are going to score. Christian Franklin delivers, and Arkansas takes a two to nothing lead. And Clay, you kind of saw it with the breaking ball to Wallace. Look at this one just spinning, just sitting right there in the middle of the plate. You're thinking, man, I just threw a perfect inside fastball to set it up. I'm going to bounce a breaking ball and get a strike three. Instead, he spins it right down Broadway. Goodhart and Slavin score easily. And you got to feel a little bit for Landon Marceau, as good as he's been in this game, to play in the COVID shortened season last year. Line drive into right field for a base hit. Kind of skips into the outfield. Franklin will stop at second. Another hit. Well, skips to Arnold. He'll flip to second for one. Wow. Round of first double play. Little bobble there in the transition, but they get both outs to end the inning, and Arkansas is held to two. You start thinking about it right now, Clay. Well, well, now this now one gets into left field for a base hit. <laughs> you and I just need to shut up. Maybe now you change your mind. Here's a line drive into center, and it's going to Dumped down in front of Franklin. Uh -oh. On his way to third is Dugas the throw. Oh, they got him. Franklin with a seed to Smith. And they tag out Dugas trying to take an extra base. And he needed three pitches to get his first one here tonight. <laughs> Line drive. Base hit. Battle says good speed, but... He's going to keep it to a single. Team are the LSU Tigers. Breaking pitch misses wide, and he walked him. Back to back walks, one intentional, one not. Typically, he's had a hard time beating LSU. Line drive, base hit. Rounding third, trying to score is Goodhart. There will be no throw. Big insurance run for the Razorbacks. It's 3 0. And that ball was absolutely smoked off the bat of Brady Slavens. A couple missed breaking balls and now a fastball kind of out over the plate. Wasn't that bad of a pitch, but Slavens goes down and gets it and hits a rocket into right field. And I'm not exactly sure they wanted Trey Morgan to cut that ball off. I thought they maybe had a play at the plate there on Goodhart. Uh -oh. Mark Franklin hits this a mile high. Is it deep enough? To the warning track. Degas looking up and it's gone. A three run bomb from Franklin. Five RBIs tonight. And this one has gotten sideways as Arkansas now leads it seven to nothing. Goodness. Just like that, Clay. We got ourselves a whole different game, and he stood up on this one, folks. Watch him hang back and create that launch. You see him almost sticking on that back foot. And he took a little too much time on this one, Clay. It didn't get out by that much. Very versatile. And that's a called strike three on the outside corner. Second straight strikeout for Cops. And it, it, the fastball is the off-speed pitch. And he strikes him out after falling behind three and nothing. Just hasn't worked out that way. It's been Cops who's been great in the bullpen. Strongly about those two teams. Uh -oh. That is pumped to left in the corner. Long run. Oh, what a catch. 
Great catch by Gavin DeGoss to run that down. Pretty much every game they play. I'm going to say he did not go around, so they have to throw to first, and that's the ball game. What an effort by the two pitchers we saw for Arkansas tonight. Patrick Wicklander, the left-hander, gets his third win, and Kevin Copps comes in for a three-inning save.